theorem the division algorithm the division algorithm statement for all a comma b belongs to z with p is greater than 0 there exist unique there exist unique q comma r it belongs to z such that such that a equals bq plus r with r lies between 0 to b strictly less than b is strictly less than b proof before going to proof here i'll give an example for this thing so so here what do you have a equals b q plus r whatever a and b wise you will give you will, they will give you have to write a this expressions so what is q q is quotient and r is r is remainder Suppose they given a equals 21 and b equals 2 at express in this form. So 21 equals what is 2? So 2 tens are 20 plus 1. That means here 2 21 here 2 tens are 20. So remainder is 1. So this is your quotient and this is your remainder. So like that they express here. And here suppose they given a equals 35, b equals 6. So what I find here to express this form. So what I get here now? 35 equals 6. 5 is a 30 plus 5 means here 6, 35. If you divide 6, 5 is a 30, remainder is 5. So this is your quotient and this is your remainder. So now he, we will write for general for this one. General proof for this method. So here we consider set S equals here A minus B such that x belongs to z so a minus bx is always greater than equal to 0 here i give example for this set how will it consider so here a minus bx is there right so suppose they given a equals 12 and b equals 5 so i varying x value it is there is x value so what do you get here now uh, 12 minus 5 x will be so if I put 0 for x you will get 12 I will put x equals 1 so you will get uh, 7 if I put x equals 2 you will get 2 and if you put x is equal to 3 you will get minus 3 so this does not belong to set S because a minus bx is always greater than equal to 0. Suppose if I give minus 1, what happens? This becomes 17. Suppose if I go minus 2, this becomes, if you put x is equal to minus 2, minus into minus plus, so we will get 22. So if you increase in minus sign, it belongs to, it belongs to set 
yes because it's always greater than or equal to zero so here for this one what you get as i said here it is 2 7 12 17 22 for 2 it is an quotient here now quotient is also 2 will be corresponding quotient here this portion is negative will not get in this head only will get in positive so s can be taken as minimum set minimum set is where to take so first i will claim s is non-empty because they have some elements on some elements on S. So now here case 1, case 1. So A is greater than equal to 0. So X is equal to 0. So here I will apply for this one. So what is it? A minus B into 0 is so what happened here you will get a it belongs to set s why i taken zero means here x belongs to any integer x can be written as my minus three minus two minus one zero one two three so on so i consider any one that number here so i consider zero here so it belongs to this set only now case two case 2 a is less than 0 and I'll consider set I'll set x is equal to a only so a minus b equals a into 1 minus b is greater than equal to 0 so here a is less than 0 this portion and here 1 minus b what happened here b is always greater than 1 from the statement so here 1 minus b is means it is also less than equal to 0 so here suppose if you have minus 1 here minus 0.5 if you multiply you will get positive sign only so that's why i write greater than equal to 0 this term so that means here a into 1 minus b is greater than equal to 0 so it belong uh, and here this implies that a minus b a is also belongs to set s now i will consider r equals min minimum set s minimum so here r equals minimum set means i consider this only a minus b so here a minus b x where r is greater than equal to 0 here i take on this one r is 0 is less than equal to r or you can write r is greater than equal to zero no problem in that one also so what do you get now here i will replace replacing replacing x by x by q so if i replace x by q for a point So R equals A minus BQ. So this implies A equals BQ plus R. So R is greater than or equal to 0. So two words A contradiction towards a contradiction. So here what I get R is 0 is less than or equal to R less than B. 
So towards contradiction, I am taking this one as R is, is the exam means, means it is greater than or equal to B. So I will take this one. Suppose, suppose R is greater than or equal to B. So here what is R, R equals A minus B Q from here is greater than or equal to B. Now subtract, subtract B on both sides. So to get R minus B equals A minus B Q minus B less greater than or equal to B minus B. So R minus B equals A minus B will take outside. So Q plus 1 will give. So greater than or equal to 0 will give. So R minus B is belongs to set S. But but R minus B is less than R equals minimum of minimum element of Yes, that means here this is in the form a minus b which is greater than or equal to 0. So this can be written as r, this can be written as r. So r may, this can be written as r means here this belongs to set s but r minus b is less than r because here r is minimum set. R is minimum set. So, so come here, which is contradiction, which is contradiction, R is less than B. So, this, this becomes R is less than B. So, I will call it as equation 2. So, combining 1 and 2 combining 1 and 2 here a equals pq plus r so what I get 0 is less than r my what I get here equation 1 equation 1 is bq plus r so r is greater than or equal to 0 and another one is b equals bq plus r so r lies b r is less than b so if you combine these two a equals bq plus r so 0 is less than or equal to r can we write this one and r is less than b so this and prove the theorem but what you have to prove next year next we have to prove here we proved this one next we have to prove q and r is unique q and r is unique now we have to prove q and r are unique. So suppose suppose that Q Q prime and R R prime are such that A equals B Q plus R equals here B Q can be written as Q prime plus R can be written as R prime. So I will assume R prime is greater than or equal to R. So here I will take these two here. So what you get? BQ plus R equals B into Q prime plus R prime. So I will take this one to left hand side and take this one to right hand side. So BQ minus BQ prime equals R prime minus R. So if you take it B common, what you get? Q minus Q prime equals R prime minus R. So here we have A equals B Q plus R lies between R is lies between 
0 to b and here a equals b q prime plus r prime r prime is less between 0 is less than b so here these two what happened here I separate these two 0 minus 0 is less than equal to r prime minus r 1 1 this is equation 2 so I call this one as equation 1 and this one to 1 minus 2 so you will get 0 minus 0 is less than equal to r prime minus r is less than equal to b minus b so if this becomes 0 is less than equal to r prime minus r is less than less than 0 less than 0 so this implies r minus r prime minus r equals 0 so r prime equals r will get so this is unique now here i'll call it this one as equation star so substitute in equation star we get we get here b into q minus q prime equals what is r r prime minus r here i'll substitute there so r prime minus r prime so b into q minus q prime equals zero so here b is not equal to zero so this implies q minus q prime equals zero so this implies q equals q prime so here r and q are unique we will get only unique solution so hence the proof